Question 33. Which expression is a factor of 10x squared minus 19x plus 6? So I'm going to need to factor this. Necesito hacer factor por este. And what does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? I want uh, the numbers and letter in the parentheses like this. Quiero los números y las letras en parentheses así. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Voy a mostrarles dos maneras para hacer eso. The first way will be with the calculator. La primera ma manera es por calculadora. It's a shortcut. Es un camino corto. The buttons for this are, los botones por este son, menu. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Get your calculator. You're going to push menu. And then you're going to push three. Tres. So menu three. Then again three. Otra vez tres. And then you're going to go ahead and push one. Y uno. And then you're going to push enter. Okay, so one more time. Okay, let me go ahead and cancel this real quick. You're going to push menu. Hang on. Menu. Three. Three. One, enter. You're going to put your ABCs, las ABC. So A is the number with the X squared. A es el número con X cuadrado. B is the number with the letter no exponent. B es el número con la letra sin exponente. This is negative 19, es negativo 19. And C, C, is no letter, sin letra, 6. So A is 10, 10, no letters here. Okay. B is negative 19, C is 6, and then you're going to push enter, enter, enter. This is what you get. Okay, let's go ahead and write that down. Now, we're not finished. Okay, so what you need to do now is you're going to need to do two parentheses, dos parentheses. Put the letter in the front. Pon la letra enfrente. This is X. So I'm going to put X and X. The first number, el primer número, this will be for here. And then the second number, el segundo número, will be here. Okay, so the number that is up right over here, you're going to put it after. Vamos a poner después. El número que está arriba, vamos a poner después. So the number up, you put it here. So this is 2. Now this is positive 2. You have to put the opposite. Este es positivo. Necesito poner el opuesto. So this is minus 2. This number that's down, este número que está abajo, you put it in front of the letter. Vamos a poner en frente de la letra. So this is 5x minus 2. Same thing here. La misma cosa aquí. The number that is up, the numerator, you will put it after the letter. El número que está arriba, el numerator, vamos a poner después. But opposite, pero opuesto. This is positive, es positivo. The opposite is negative. El opuesto es negativo. So minus 3. And this number that's down, you put it in the front. In the front, it will not be negative. En el frente no es negativo. Okay? You are only doing the opposite for the numbers after the letter. Solo estoy haciendo los opuestos por uh, los números que están después de la letra. So, which one, cuál, is one of my answer choices? Looks like D is my answer choice, okay, which is right over here. Now we are going to do it by hand. So, let's go ahead and do this by hand. Remember, this is A, this is B, remember it's a negative, and then this is C right over here. So A is with the X squared, B is with the X no exponent, and C is no letter. Okay, so part one, parte uno. The first thing you need to do is A times C. Primero necesito hacer A por C. A times C, that is 10 times por 6. 10 times 6, 10 por 6, 60, 60. Okay, now I need to find the factors of 60. Ahora necesito encontrar los factores de 60. So, which two numbers can I multiply to get 60? ¿Cuál dos números puedo multiplicar para tener 60? I can do 1 times 60, 1 por 60, that's 60. 2 times 30, 2 por 30, that's 60, es 60. 3 times 20, 3 por, por 20, that's 60, 60. Four. Now, if you don't know, si no saben, you can check with the calculator. Pueden checar con la calculadora si no saben. You can do 60 divide 4. 60 divided by 4 is 15. 
So 4 times 15, 4 por 15, that is 60. Let's do 5. 60 divided by 5. 60 entre 5. That is 12. 5 times 12. Okay, and then 6 times 10. 6 por 10. Let's check 7. Vamos a checar 7. It's not going to work, but let's just check it. Okay, nope. So if it's a fraction, si es fracción, or decimal, or decimal, don't put it here, no pon aquí. Okay, let's check 8. Vamos a checar el 8. 60 divided by 8. Nope. And then 9, el 9. Nope. And 10, 10, I already have. Ya tengo, so we're going to stop here. Vamos a parar aquí. Now, what I'm going to do is, do you see the B here? It's negative 19. So what I'm going to do is these two numbers, I'm going to find which ones, cuáles, I can make, puedo hacer negative 19, negativo 19. Now the ones I, now if you're good at math, si están muy buenos con los números, you will know, pueden saber muy rápido, you will know very fast. And so I'm quite good. So I can take a look at this and tell you. So to get negative 19 para tener negativo 19, I need to do, necesito hacer negative 4 minus 15. And you can check that in the calculator if you want. Negative 4 minus 15, that is negative 19. So this is the pair that I want. Este es el par que quiero. Okay, so part 2. I'm going to copy all of this, copy todo eso, but not the B, pero no la B. Instead of the B, en lugar del B, I'm going to put these two numbers. Voy a poner estos dos números. So I will put 10x squared. Know this. I will put negative 4 with the x, con el x. And this one y este, with the x, con el x. Because these are the same as negative 19. Estos son lo mismo que negativo 19. And then copy plus 6. Okay, so I'm going to separate these into two parts now. I'm going to find um, the greatest common uh, factor of this and the greatest common factor of this. Okay, so let's find the factors of 10x squared and 4x. Ignore the sign right now. Ignora el signo ahora. So let's go ahead and do 10. Yes. So 10, it's 2 times 5. 2 por 5. 2 and 5 are prime numbers. 2 y 5 son prime. So to get 10x squared para tener 10x cuadrado, it's 2 times 5 times x times x. Es 2 por 5 por x por x, because there's two x's, porque hay dos x. Next is 4, después es 4. 4, it's 2 times 2, es 2 por 2. 2 and 2 are prime, 2 y 2 son prime. So this one is 2 times 2 times, I have 1x, tengo un x. Okay. So, which ones do I have the same? ¿Cuáles tengo iguales? I have a 2 and an x. So, we're going to go ahead and do our parentheses. The same go outside, lo mismo que están afuera, and the different y los diferentes inside, adentro. What's the same? Que es lo mismo? 2x. So, I will put 2x outside. Done, done. Now, the different, this is 5x. This is 2. And look, mira, the original sign, el signo original, it's minus. It's menos. I will go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do this, the same. Ignore the sign. Ignore el signo. 15x. So I have 15. 3 times 5. Es 3 por 5. They are both prime. Son prime. So the, to get 15x, para tener 15x, it's 3 times 5 times x. Now for the 6. Ahora por el 6. For 6, it's 2 times 3. 2 por 3. They are prime, son prime. So that is 2 times 3. Now we're going to do what's the same. Que es igual. Right over here. So we're going to do our parentheses. The same outside. Lo mismo está afuera. Different. Inside, los diferentes adentro, 5 and 2. Okay? And originally, original, this was the first number, el primer número. Oh, I'm sorry. This is x. So 5x is different. And then 2. The first number was negative, and the second number was positive. Now, look, this is 
not the same. No son iguales. And I need them to be the same. Necesito que están iguales. What's different que es diferente the signs, los signos? This is positive, negative. Negative, positive. So I need to change the sign for this one. Necesito cambiar el signo por este. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sign of all of these. Voy a cambiar los signos de todo. So this will be negative 3, parenthesis, positive 5x, negative 2. So positive to negative, negative to positive, positive to negative. Perfect. And really, you don't really want a negative in the front. No quiero un negativo enfrente. That's why I prefer this one. Por eso yo prefiero este. So no more this one. No más esta. At the end, in el fin, when you have the same, cuando tengo lo mismo, I will put this one in the front. Está en el frente. And these two, I will put them together. Voy a ponerlos juntos. 2x minus 3. And this is it, factored. That's how it looks like. And this is what I had. Este es que tengo con la calculadora. This is what I had with the calculator. Do you see that? Let me go ahead and show you. And which one is the one that's available? ¿Cuál es la que está disponible? This one right over here. So if you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.